cry, but. Um, so basically, oh god, this is just so stupid. This is so frustrating to like, like even deal with, but I don't even like know where to begin because it's just so annoying. I feel like I was just talking on in our YouTube comments about me nunky. Um, and like just made the little f***ing video like s like celebrating the fact that she's 15 years old like I literally just edited that like a, f a week ago and it's just stressful like Winnie's on her period and like Copper is freaking Copper is freaking that thing that we had to deal with on site. I don't know why life is always trying to like us, but it's just always something and to have all three of the pets have some kind of a problem like within a freaking two weeks of each other. I'm like so pissed off. Like I would rather it be me and it's just so frustrating. I know I'm not even like saying what's going on, but yesterday afternoon me and Anki was really like sleepy and not seeming like herself and um and I'll preface this by saying, like, Dad just said to me we, when we left the vet, he was like, you're the strongest person I know, except when it comes to your pets. And it's so true. Like, I just can't, I can't handle, like, innocent, like, helpless things. I just can't. I can't handle that. Physically, I cannot handle it. It's so hard. And so... She was just sleeping a lot and she didn't we noticed she didn't eat her food and she's like the biggest pig in the world and so she wasn't eating and then she went and peed on a blanket that was on the floor and I noticed that the pee was like pinkish and I thought that that was odd and then she vomited a few times and so she vomited like in the evening and that's what let me know oh god like this must be something and so we gave her some cat treats which she ate but she literally like didn't move from like the same spot forever um, and it's just so frustrating because she's 15 years old and it's just like scary and so we took her to the vet and our vet's amazing and and her bladder is like three times the size it sh should be because there must be some blockage or something like that and he did an ultrasound she doesn't have a stone but the bladder is so big that it's like her levels were awful and like scary and like it's like an emergency situation so they're keeping her there and they're putting a catheter in and then like, she's gonna stay overnight so it's just like I'm like how uh, we don't yeah so anyways that's the situation we're at I hate making videos like this the only reason I am is because I know that so many of you like love and care about our pets as well and I don't want to just like gloss over it she's a very important member of our family and like I've had her since I was 23 and I'm almost 39 like I've had her through everything I've gone through as an adult like I had her before I was on Harris Hilton's BFF like of everyone in the house I've known Minunky the longest and so it's just like so real it's scary I like so sick and tired of being put through shit. so sick of it I like power through everything I like I'll lift up anybody do anything I can to create a positive environment but it's just like I'm just getting it's just I'm just sick of problems that's all I um, just got home I, and I don't know if I even explained all that right, but basically she's her bladder's so full and she's not able to like pee. And so there's like a blockage. And so it's that's what's made her so incredibly sick so fast. And her potassium levels and kidney something and whatever. And so there's no stone. So they just have to figure out what is causing the blockage. And they have to put the catheter in to like train her. And that's what she has to see overnight. And yeah. What are you doing? What is today on this Thursday? Mm-hmm.
a not in my video making uh, era because I'm stressed and sad, like but this, like, this is how we're keeping busy. Turn Look at how cute. This is a lot of color we put in. Slower, slower. And I gave her a haircut. I took off, how much do you think I took off, Dad? Maybe like an inch? Yeah, probably an inch. And then I, I trimmed up her front layers. My rainbow today is blue. I don't know if I made a video with an update, but then the vet called, he's so amazing. And he said that um, it's most likely a UTI. So cross your fingers that that's all it is and that it's nothing serious. It was super sudden. So I don't think it's gonna be anything serious. She was like perfect 24 hours ago. Well, no, that's not true, 48 hours ago. Like yesterday morning, she was flawless, like energy jumping everything. And so, yeah, she's gonna stay overnight. He's gonna call us in the morning. Fresh color and a fresh cut. I love it. That's beautiful. Stay right there. This is the day from hell. Dad wanted oh. me to get it. Bro, Dad wanted me to get a video of the sirens. We're getting like tornado something. I don't even know. T tennis ball size hail ball thing. Yeah. Right? And yeah. Oh my gosh, these dogs. I'm massaging Dad and look who's joined us. Like, she's so sweet. I love you, Winnie. Dinner's in the works, but look who is. Just watching me. No, you're supposed to stay there. Didi's having a taco night by himself. We're having quesadilla night. But if you like spicy, mm. this right here from Bucky's is literally the hottest salsa I've ever had in my life. Um, the peppers are grown in Satan's garden. Where did you grow your garden? Did you buy it yourself? Oh. We are staying positive. <coughs> And Winnie is on her 13th day of her period. Send help. 13, that's 13 days, people. 13 ah! days. Wait, how many pads? How many pads were in the package you bought? 75. How many do you have left? Does this look like she's got poop in there? 10. No, right? Am I crazy? No copper, no, no, no. Besties, I'm here with a good update. Um, I'm just running some errands while Bro is getting ready to go hang with the girls. Um, our vet called us this morning at eight, and he said that. Um, well, he called us last night. I don't know if I made a video of that. I just did not feel like being on camera or like being positive yesterday. It just it wasn't my day. But um, what well, was it? Nunkie's day. It's whose day it wasn't for thing. Um, but. So he called at 8 this morning and he said that her levels that were like in the emergency dangerous like uh, area have all drastically dropped, which is what he wanted it to do. Um, he said even this morning and yesterday that her appetite is great and that she seems amazing, um, but they're going to keep her, so they're going to continue to keep her for the time being. And, um, and he said that it's most likely just a bad UTI. So fingers crossed that everything goes back to normal. She was, like I said yesterday, she was perfectly healthy and energetic and everything was 100% normal in the morning and the days prior to the situation happening. So we're really hopeful that it's just a UTI, but it scared my heart. Um, and our vet scared us because he's the type of vet that he'll give you all the scenarios, not just the best case. He'll give us the worst and everything in between. And so, um, yeah, that's where we're at for now. So I miss my kitty and I cannot wait for her to come home. Um, so I don't really feel like documenting during this time. Um, it's, it's a lot. Uh, so, but I know that I recorded yesterday a few things and, uh, you guys have all sent me a lot of positive messages on Facebook and, um, Instagram. And so I want to say something. Don't mind. I just out of the shower, but so last night, I think I might've made a video. I don't, I honestly, I don't remember this week so a lot, but I made a video saying that our vet called us and he was like, just calling with good news. Her levels are going back to normal. Things are looking great. Um, it looks like it's just a bad UTI, etc. Then this morning he calls again. She's eating, she's this, she's that, everything's looking great. Then he calls us this afternoon at two. And me and dad, it's like dark and gloomy, which was just awful timing. And he was like, she, she, I did an ultrasound and she has these like three areas that are like weird shaded areas. Like it's, 
It could be a mass, it could be this, it could be that. And now the outcome is not looking the greatest. And so she's having to stay there all weekend. And then on Monday, they're doing this like aspiration thing. And on Monday, they'll get the results from that. But it's like she has to stay there this weekend. And that's really hard for me. So Dad and me have just been literally sitting in silence all evening. Kenzie's having a slumber party with a friend. Z with friends. Um, which is good timing. So she doesn't have to watch us live as zombies. Just existing in silence. Because we're both stressed and sad. And like I said before, but... I had her when I was 23. Thank you, Winnie. I had Minanki when I was 23, like, like freshly out of being an adult. And I'll be 40 in a year. Like, I've had her for everything. And so it's just like difficult to, I know, honey, it's difficult. This, going through something like this, is just really difficult. And right now um, is the first time I'm like, literally talked this entire evening, but y'all literally like know like i say this all the time but the people that watch us i feel like you guys know us better than the people in our real life actually do because you witness more you pay attention to like what's going on in our life and you're very you know you've been there a lot of you have been there through it all for the last couple of years but dad and i are just very emotionally overwhelmed and we just wish that you know trials come and lord knows that our family's been through our fair share of them but Hopefully my kitty makes it through this. And um, I don't think I'll be making any videos. I might film Kenzie's game tomorrow. It just doesn't feel, I'm just, I'm not good at, I'm not good at this kind of stuff. And so I don't wanna try to be happy when I'm not happy. That's all. Good morning from Saturday. Um, yesterday evening, dad started getting like chills and achy and he was like feeling so sick that he felt like he was gonna cry. And so, yeah, that's where he's at. It's 11 a.m. and he's still in bed. He was like making sounds all night, like, uh, like in pain. It was so sad. It was like really, really sad. And so I've got, I got him a medicine ball from Starbucks and medicine and everything. And he's upstairs. And then I picked up bro. And now we are going to her first volleyball game. I called the vet um, for an update. They said that the, our doctor's not in today, but that the vet techs would call me. They're the ones looking after her. So... Come on, little bro. Nice, Ken. Nice back. Come on, Ash. Yes, Ash. Kenzie's sick with something. I have the flu. Poor Dee Dee's taking care of us, but look. They're really prettying with their bets. Are you recording? Mm hmm. I have the flu. Winnie's on her period. Dee Dee's great. I mean, I keep to the back. Still. We're falling apart. You did what? Here you go. Oh my god, Dad is so fevered and not feeling well. And so, bro, meet us. Me and her breakfast. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, good morning. Bro, just went upstairs. Um to go get herself situated. She's doing another cheer clinic today. Um, I thought I'd make a little video because our vet called like 45 minutes ago and gave me an update. He got the results back of the aspirations they did on Friday for Aminanki and basically that's like sticking a needle to see what these like areas are that he didn't know if they were like a tumor or I don't know, random growth a mass or something like that but the results came back and it was just inflammation which is good news but the vet does not sound very optimistic he's like very worried about her having her um catheter like the bag and the fluids taken out because um they kind of like reduced her fluids or took her fluids off or something like that and i guess like her right kidney is the one having a problem so I don't know, it's all super stressful, but tomorrow they're gonna like take the things out to see how she does on her own. And I'm just like crossing my fingers and praying that it's just like, like he thought on Friday, like he thought it was a bad UTI, like an infection. And so I'm like, how do we go from that to terrifying, you know? And so it's just like stressful. I've not been able to function as normal. So I just, 
kind of have been sitting around and um, it's bad timing, but I feel like it's also good for me that dad is sick because it's giving me something else to focus on. Um, and I mean, I feel awful for him, but so I'm taking care of him around the clock. He's upstairs in bed right now and he's freezing cold and it's like, I mean, no, he's like, like insanely hot. And so, and outside it's like 45 degrees. And so he had, this morning he was down here with the air conditioning blasting. So I'm like, baby boy, we gotta put you upstairs. So he's upstairs in bed with the fan on watching Cinderella. And um, he's not good either. It's, uh and then yesterday, Kenzie was having such bad cramps that she was crying. And um, it was pouring rain all day. So I know I would just want my kitty to come home. I just, I uh, just like, it's the, it's the thought of her there when no one's there. Like, cause there's time, she's not allowed to leave the hospital right now at the hospital part of the vet. And so that is what like, is, keeps me up all night. Like I've been, I just kind of like lay awake all throughout the night and I have to just kind of like trick myself to fall back asleep by like singing songs in my head works. Um, and so, yeah, that is where that is at. And then I think I explained the story of yesterday morning. Uh, you know, they say it rain, when it rains, it pours. Well, when it rains, it storms in our family. This is just, this is just how it's been. That's why, like I've said, if I can ever get through um, the videos and the things of 2021, y'all would be like, oh my God, how are you still standing? Because it was literally, one thing after another and that's how this week feels and then with the thing with Winnie yesterday like traumatized me because dad was upstairs asleep and I think I I think I recorded about this but I don't remember but basically I was giving Copper his medicine I had more dog food in my hand like this and she came up and started to scarf on it and then started choking and I've never seen an animal choke and so I, I I know that I had watched like a like a um video before on what to do if they do that but I just uh, instinct kicked in I just because I was like no and like her, her eyes she was like 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 choking choking and I just stuck my fingers down the back of her throat and I pulled it up and then she just looked so terrified and she like clung to me all day it was really sad um and so it's just it's just been stressful I just want to like fast forward time um because this is getting very very overwhelming and I feel bad because I'm dropping camera because I can't I'm 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 already so behind and and this is the least of my this is the least of my problems but nonetheless I feel bad but I'm so behind in editing because of the flood that took up so much time and so like today's like St. Patrick's Day March 17th and my YouTube videos are only up to February 13th so there's like over a month of footage and so I, um, but I, 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 I've had a lot of free time, obviously, because Brian is sick and the cat and everything, and I just don't have the want to want to do anything, so I could be editing, and I've tried, but every time I go to edit, I, I can't, I can't edit videos of, and hear her meow, and hear, see live normal just a few weeks ago. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to, so... That is where we're at. Y'all, I can't with this week. I can't. I literally just want to wake, like, go to sleep and wake up next week. Kenzie's got a cheer clinic she has to leave for in 20 minutes. And so there was nothing easy for me to feed her at home. And so I just, I'm leaving Jersey Mike's. And then dad came downstairs in tears. And he is not, like, he doesn't, like, go to the doctor. He's not, like dramatic like that like not that it's dramatic to go to the doctor but I mean like when he's sick he's like oh I'll tough it out but he's like comes down in tears so I booked him an appointment and we're gonna now his appointment's ready and Kenzie has to leave in t Kenzie has to leave in 20 minutes <clears throat> I have to feed her and get her ready and um dad's appointment at urgent care just called him and so now I'm gonna rush home because I don't want him driving so I'm gonna go pick him up drop him off there I don't like I do not understand this week. I like cannot comprehend how every member of my family has something stressful going on except for me. Like this is just, I would rather every single thing be on me.
go to the urgent care and yeah, I think it it says nine because there's nine more minutes. So this is the chicken we're gonna share. Hold on, bro, let me do it. So you think it looks good? Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. And Kenzie made us the salad because we didn't want to eat out anymore because we've been eating out so much while dad hasn't felt good. And um, so Kenzie made this. It looks delicious. What else am I supposed to use? No, I, I want it. <laughs> what would you use? Fingers? A knife. To transform it? I mean, transport it? No, don't cut it again. I want dad to see it. <laughs> The verdict is in. Kenzie said it's really good. It was um, something I got off the internet. Um, Dad just woke up and he said it's perfect. He was shocked. He was like, please tell me you made videos of the whole thing. Um, and, and our rice just finished. It's just been a day. But I'm proud of us, bro, for figuring out a way to feed ourselves, not take out. And we made rice and it's perfect. This has been my home for like 36 hours. But I got up because look what my family did to take care of themselves. Look what they did. This is a first in the history of Holgate's. They made salad and perfectly cooked chicken and rice. I took the chicken off the thing with a spatula. I don't know. So, it's beautiful. Like this. Look at their little. I'm gonna set the table with three <laughs> forks. Is that a good amount of rice, or do you want more, bro? Yeah, if you save me a little bit. Yes, we will. That'd be great. That's fine. I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you. Also, Kenzie destroyed at this like tumbling cheer thing today. It was apparently amazing for her. You're sure the chicken's good? I'll like it. It looks beautiful. Oh yeah, it's really good. I am here with Mina Key visiting with her. This is like the hardest thing I've had to go through in a long time. I can't even like the stomach documenting things like this. But she's such a part of the family. <laughs> Kitty. Hey, um, to be honest, I don't know if these videos are ever going to see the light of day because they have a really hard time documenting such things, let alone re-watching it and editing it and subjecting, my, you know, our pain um, to live on forever, which is, you know, not that great. But basically, she had to stay in the vet hospital all weekend to be monitored because she, you know, has a catheter and an IV, and she, um, the I don't I don't I don't I, with Brian sick and Kenzie in pain and the kitty and everything. I'm just in the house and Winnie's period and everything. I don't remember what I've said, but um, basically. Um, she, those three areas that could have been like tumors or whatever came back to just be inflammation, which was a good thing. And then um, she, but it's her kid, it's her, one of her kidneys is the problem and its levels are going up and then they bring them down then they go back up, which is not a good sign. So she's got to get her kidney levels to come down and be able to go to the bathroom on her own. So he said that he needs to keep her another 24 hours um, to pull the catheter, fill her with a bunch of fluids, see if she can go to the bathroom on her own. But the vet called Brian's phone and he called me and told me every, all of that. And then he said that the doctor said that she just seemed not as perky this morning, that she seemed kind of bummed. So of course I start hysterically crying and race over to the vet. So I just spent an hour with her, just hugging her and laying on her and she just was purring the whole time, which melted my heart, but also broke my heart. You know, it's just, I will say 
going through these things is seriously some of the hardest days ever, but it is so worth the memories that my pets give me. Like, you know, people are always like, oh, it's not worth the pain at the end of stress, and it's so worth it. She is such a good cat, and she is just like, she's been with me through everything, and so we're still crossing our fingers and praying that she can pull through this, but, you know, she doesn't have cancer, and it's not anything, you know, diagnosable that's some disease or something, so that's what's so confusing and hard to, like, navigate this all, but with Brian and Kenzie and everything, I just I feel like life is so, full, or life is just falling apart in, like, the snap of a finger. Dee Dee has taken care of me, Copper, Winnie, Kenzie, and Minanki. He's checking in on her at the vet right now. She's been in there for quite a few days. And he's my hero. This is just something that's making... Dad, look, the pretties are like couch gargoyles, one on each side, look. Oh my god, Dad is so silly. Okay, I'll explain more later, but Minanki gets to come home for now, so... Five days later, no more being locked up in a hospital. She needs to be home with us. Do you guys want to see her? Nanki. Come here. Nanki performing. Here comes the sun, little me Nanki. Look who's on my lap. Minaki, what it is? How? What's up? This is just a family check in with every school member of the family. These two sisters are like so close. Alexa, you look so cute! Seven. Her birthday is February 8th. That's yesterday. We officially have a 15 year old cat. And the other reason I made this video with that long explanation is Minunki's in a blanket for it. Just oh. a midday check in to show you Minunki laying on Taylor Swift blanket. Can you tell these two love each other? Oh my gosh. 
Listen to how happy this cat is to be like head to head with Copper. That is quite the purr.